Hello there and thanks for joining me. The main reason for doing this video is to point out the advantages and disadvantages of the warm roof uh, construction over the cold roof construction. Now in front of me I have two warm roof um, examples and a cold roof example. Now one of the main problems with the warm roof construction is that all the insulation goes on top of the decking so you're actually raising the height of the finished roof um, which causes the problem in a few different things if you haven't got the height because of parapet walls because of doors that may open out onto a roof or windows which open out we get a lot of this in London then it becomes difficult to do a warm roof construction but the same can be said with the cold roof which is down here because with the cold roof down here ventilation has to be added at the front and at the back and the problem with adding the ventilation is that you sometimes have to have upstands or mushrooms on the top so it does raise it slightly but nevertheless they can normally be centered or moved around in such a way to to help the installation so the height is the main problem with the the warm roof this example I've got here is shown because if you've got a new construction um, a small area where it's all new timbers going in you can use smaller timbers and use RSJs to go across to minimize the span of the timbers which case we minimize the thickness of the timbers and you can have a saving of around about 75 mil on this construction but the only constraints with that particular construction uh, is is the size because of the span going across with the stills as soon as they start getting bigger then everything else starts to get bigger so there is a, a minimum width but lengthwise you can do this as, as long as you want to now the main advantage really with the warm roof providing we can get over the heights situation is the ease of build it's really easy to build um, easy to lay out the insulation and put the vapor barriers down on top of the roof the construction goes very, very quickly and it's difficult to get wrong um, so it, it does lend itself to uh, a lot of the work that's that that we're doing in a way of retrofit if you start looking at the cold roof the problem with the cold roof is the insulation needs to go between the joists which means that all the decking has to come up there's an awful lot more work and a lot more cost now to get to the correct um, heat u values for um, building control these days we have to put a layer of insulation under the joists to stop thermal bridging coming down from above because the quality of the insulation between is very good the quality of the insulation given by the, the joists coming down isn't that good and if we get a thermal imaging camera and look from underneath this we can actually see the stripes of the um, cold being bridged down through the joists so these days um, there's normally 50 millimeters of insulation put underneath with the plasterboard on top of that and of course the problem with that is that you're now restricting the height of the room down below so realistically there's three options there for relatively small construction um, of warm roofs and cold roofs and it gives you the idea of what can or can't be done thanks for watching my video my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing